How has it been, you know, coming back to Elon since you know you graduated last year and now you gotta you're coming around here and you're living around here? It's a lot different being at Elon and not taking classes and not being a student. It's uh, a weird sort of transition stage that I'm still adapting to and trying to figure out. But it's been great. Coach Matheny has been um, very kind to me and allowed me to come back and work out with the team, use the facilities. And Dr. Danley has reached out to me and former teammate Roger Duga and taken us into his house. So it's been great, you know, staying here and um, still being around the Elon culture. Walk me through like a breakfast conversation with Dr. Danley. For example, he'll probably tell me what he's going to do on the agenda that day and he is usually pretty specific with, you know, who who he's getting together with, what he's doing for lunch and dinner and all of his plans. And then he'll also tell me, you know, stories from either what happened yesterday or what happened 40 or 50 years ago. What are you doing around campus right now while you're back here uh, preparing and uh, trying to go over and play professionally. I'm currently in the process of trying to get a job overseas to play basketball. But again, I'm, I'm working out here on campus, playing basketball with the team, um, scrimmaging with them, and then I'm lifting on my own. At the same time, I'm applying for some other jobs to have a backup plan. It's got to be pretty different because like, probably for like the first time ever, like you're preparing your workouts, you know, you're preparing all that mostly for yourself. You don't have like the coaches around you anymore. So like, how do you do that? Yeah, it's different. I take time to prepare and plan out my workouts, what I'm going to lift each day, how I'm going to condition, get my cardio in. And so essentially I'm my own strength coach and I'm also my own athletic trainer. I got to take care of little injuries. Um, you know, if I, my legs are tight um, or, you know, just recognizing, okay, I need to stretch or I need to do yoga or I need to ice and um, different things where normally I would have someone telling me and making sure that I take care of my body but now it's kind of all on me. Obviously you had one of like the great senior classes you know it was you, Lucas, Riley, Sebastian um, just you know a lot of focus was on y'all last year now like those other guys are gone they're off doing other stuff so uh, how do you keep in contact with them first of all and then like how, how are you do how do you like you know, those are your roommates too, so like, how do you survive without them? Yeah, it's a lot of text messaging and a lot of Snapchat. Yeah, that's <laughs> how we keep in touch with each other, and so, um, yeah, I don't see them as frequently. Obviously, I, I don't hear from them quite as often as you, know, you would like to, but it's, it's fun to get a, an occasional Snapchat. Uh, for example, I got one from Lucas Troutman the other day where he was in the training room in Spain where he plays, and I think the caption was like, my trainer speaks to me in Spanish as if I know what the heck he's talking about. <laughs> and so it's just small things like that. Um, it's like, okay, wow, these guys are in you know, Spain, the Czech Republic, Sebastian's out in Tennessee, all over the place, and um, we can still talk and have conversations and keep up with one another. Through all this, through living with Dr. Dan Lee, being back on campus, you know, all your uh, guys that you graduated last year, you know, off pursuing other interests right now, um, What's all go through your head right now as you just try and prepare to work out and um, make a career now? I just want to be content where I am and where God has me because I know I could worry about I don't have a job or I'm not living here. Or it's getting late in this process, but I just want to be content where I am. And so I think, you know, no matter where uh, we are career-wise, if we can be content, then all the other things will sort of take care of themselves. And so I, I am very content in being at Elon right now and, and knowing that the next chapter of my life is about to begin.